In lesson two in iMovie for iPad today, we're going to talk about trimming the clips, rotating the clips, and adding transitions between the clips. So when it comes to trimming them, that's a little bit different than cutting. As we know from last class, cutting is sliding across that white line and creating a cut. You select the clip first to make it yellow. You could hit split or you could cut it. You could just cut like crazy. Like look at these scissors go, right? I could just crazy stuff here. Wonderful. So lots of cuts there. Now, trimming is a little bit different. You see how this little clip here is selected with, it's got like a yellow bar on that side and a yellow bar on that side. What happens if you just put your finger on there and you pull it, you can see I'm extending the clip. And you know I'm extending it because the time up here is getting larger and larger. Or you could go back the other way and make it shorter. So that's one of the ways that we can trim these clips, right? Now, if I don't remember how long that little clip was originally, I can just let go. And of course, over here, my undo button, well, it takes me back to the size that it was. So that's a handy thing to know about trimming the clips. Now, what about rotating? What if I was one of those people who always took video in portrait mode like this? Just so you know, you should always take video with your smartphone in landscape mode. This is the way the camera is designed to take the video footage. You definitely want to shoot video in landscape mode like this, but not like this. Please don't make that mistake anymore. So, but if you did, you're going to have these two black bars on the side of the footage. And you're going to think it's not so great and maybe the image is twisted. Well, a good thing about this is it's very easy to rotate the clip. All you have to do is stick your fingers on the viewer there and just give it a little twist. You see that arrow arrive and you let go and what you know, you're rotated. And if you fancy turning this guy right upside down, away you go. Look at that ceiling. Isn't that nice? And then another time. And then, of course, back to the beginning. So that comes in really handy when you've got to flip some stuff around because someone accidentally took the video footage with the, with the camera in portrait mode uh, because they're new to using a smartphone or something, you know, uh, which is okay. That's okay. That's how a lot of people do. But uh, I'm telling you, I'm here to tell you, you don't want to do that any longer. Now, one fun thing uh, about this is that let's pretend for a moment that I accidentally deleted this half the clip. This clip here is 7 minutes and 40 seconds long. Oh, a lot of talk in there. Let's say I deleted that and I didn't want to delete it, right? So I deleted it. Of course, I could hit undo or I could select this clip here and I could drag that yellow bar all the way out to the very far right and eventually the entire clip will get revealed all the way through. Keep on going to seven minutes and something. It'll actually be eight minutes and something when you add the... Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, so that's the whole clip now. So what's actually happened... What's actually happened is that when you delete a part of the clip, when you cut out a part of the clip, it's as if, you know, it's actually hidden. It's, it's still underneath there, so it, it doesn't really ever disappear. And so that's just kind of a handy thing to know, right? Well, all right. Uh, I think, you know, it's time we talk about transitions. Uh, life's full of transitions, and, well, as it turns out, so is the iMovie app here, and we're going to talk a little bit about that right now. So as you see, there's some clips here, uh, some, some little cuts that we've made. Oh, look at that. We've... <laughs> Just rock the house there. Uh, what we're going to do is touch on this little thing between each of these clips, which is called the transition. Now you'll see that none is selected because officially we haven't used any transition here. That's why when we play it straight through, it just quickly flips over to that other, that other clip. But when you throw a transition in there, some fun stuff happens. So this is the dissolve transition. It's automatically set to 0.5 seconds. I'll make it a one second transition. Let's take a look at what this looks like now with a one second transition. And, and you, allow yourself to you see how it sort of, you see how it sort of faded through there. It's kind of nice that way, yeah. And you can put in a number of these different uh, transitions. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you play with them yourselves. Well, I'll just try one more for your for your viewing pleasure. Here is this kind of a funny one. <laughs> always get quite a kick out of that. So that's, uh, that's one of the ways that you can fiddle with transitions. And the neat thing is you can put them in anywhere you like. Uh, in anywhere that you've got a cut, you can put in these transitions. I don't recommend you use all kinds of different crazy transitions for your projects because they can come across a little bit unprofessional. It's best to stay with um, you know, one type. Like the, the main one I use, truthfully, is the dissolve. Um, it, or, or none at all. It, it really depends on what type of project you're creating. So there might be a, a, a place where you're trying to create lots of, lots of changes in the camera angles really quickly. You may not want any transitions at all. You're just going to have to play with it a little bit and see what it is that you like. So that's a little taste on transitions. I can go into more detailed transitions, but for the purpose of today, I just wanted to give you a wee introduction. So there we go. So for today, we've covered 
trim an eclipse, uh, rotate an eclipse, and also adding transitions between clips. I hope this has been helpful. We've got more information coming to you in the next lesson. Thanks ever so much. Goodbye.